Hi guys, my name is Leo and I live on a sailboat. I like horses, watching the clock turn to numbers, jumping in the water. Welcome to Boat Life. What are you doing here? Well, we are going to talk about the hurricane. We're going to talk about Hurricane Nicole, and it's kind of scary for kids and adults, so I thought it would be good to have a grown-up here to talk about it today. I was in a hurricane! <laughs> Question. What? Can you explain what a hurricane is? Yes. Okay. So, um, guys, a hurricane is like a tornado. Destroy like houses, like the roof, and then you can get swirled out. It's just like wind and water like flowing together. A hurricane is a big storm that forms out in the ocean with lots of wind and rain going around in a spiral. Many of the storms just stay out in the ocean and we never even see them. But sometimes storms end up getting bigger and when the winds get up to 74 miles per hour, we call them hurricanes. If the storm goes over where people live, it can cause a lot of damage and it can be really scary. Um, so there's different levels of, of level hurricanes. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Level yes, six. no, not level six. Just <laughs> they stop it, stops at level five. Ow. And um, Hurricane Nicole was category one hurricane, which is the smallest hurricane, which is still can be dangerous. Oh, the yeah. most important thing is to have a plan. Right. Like a good plan. A very good plan. Like so, the goodest plan you ever made. Yes. So our plan was to make sure that the boat was tied down so it didn't bump into any other boats. Our dock is really, really strong. And a very strong boat. Yes, it is a very strong boat Well, too. yeah. Well, it's really little, but it's still strong. Yes. We had water. We had any kind of food we needed, gas in our vehicle. So if we needed to leave, we could get in our car and go. We were watching the weather, or if they would have asked us to evacuate the marina, we would have left. But the way it was, it wasn't a big enough hurricane that we needed to leave our marina. If it was like at ca category five, we would leave. Uh, probably category two or three, we would have left. Hurricanes are very dangerous and they can damage anything. We were very well prepared. And we were prepared to leave if it got serious. But we didn't leave. No, we didn't leave. Do you remember what was going on that day? Um, well, when, when we were in a hurricane, mm -hmm. um, we were having a party with our friends Dan and Zoo. And do you remember what happened that night when we were over there? The news. The news. Leo was on the news. <laughs> it was so fun. I got to speak. She did. She's actually aboard a 40-foot sailboat where some ladies are having a hurricane party. And this is the neighbor's little girl. Her name is Leo. She's five years old, and she seems to be having a great time out here, no matter what the weather may be outside. You'd be amazed how stable this boat is. You can't, it's not rocking, it's not moving around. They've got it solidly tied down. Ask you a question? Yeah. You're Leo, right? Uh -huh. And you're five? Uh -huh. How do you feel about being out here during a hurricane? Well, my animals and my boat feel kind of scared, so I kind of say things so, to them so they feel better. You're comforting the pets, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we thank you for letting us talk to you tonight, okay? Okay. Hope everything goes well out here. Thanks so much for the live report. Tell Leo she is absolutely adorable. She's, yeah, she's a star girl. tonight. Yeah. So hurricanes are nothing to joke around about, are they? Yeah, they're serious. They're very serious. Well, it, it's fun if you had a joke about hurricanes, but if you had a joke about hurricanes... Do you have any it, jokes about hurricanes? Um, what would a hurricane say to a booty? Wah, wah, wah. 
<laughs> okay. I don't, that's not, I don't have a good joke. Okay, that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just made that one up. That was funny. And that was Hurricane Nicole that we were on our boat for. It hit Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce went right through the eye of it. Uh huh. But we slept on our boat, we woke up, and it was completely quiet. All the wind had stopped. And I thought, oh, we're in the eye. I was gonna get up and take some video. And I just like lay there because I knew it would just look like dark and you couldn't tell that it was the eye of the hurricane, but it was kind of interesting. And so the next day, you didn't have school. Instead of snow days, they have hurricane days here. The storm sure put the water over one of the docks, which was crazy. My dad let me call on the VHF radio. No bad words, though. We don't need the FCC down our neck. Okay, ready? Hello, never mind, Aiden. <laughs> Read you loud and clear, Leo. This is the Never Monday squad. Pepe leading the charge. How can we help? What do you do when you scare the duck? I close my eyes and remember that it's darker with my eyes closed than at night with my eyes open, so I'm okay. Stand by for transmission. But then when you poop, you go in the poopy, you poop in the poop. All right, we're gonna need to uh, cease transmission. Cease transmission. <laughs> Since we didn't have school, I got to stay at home with my mom and dad and play with my toys. But then I was glad the tide went down and I could go walk on the dock that weren't flooded anymore. We went to the lookout tower Then I ran back home. And remember, always make a good plan for a hurricane. Bye, guys! Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You could get your car and drive to like, like a like a shelter, like a rock yes. shelter, yes. and then and then if you could build with um a door to lock you in um in the mm. in 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 the in the rock, and then and then you could be really safe. Yeah, where have you seen these rock shelters? Hmm. YouTube. YouTube. It's a good place for information, <laughs> folks. <laughs>